about having more in 2024. Listen to what our next guest said that had people on their feet. Take a look. What would your soul say if you gave your soul the microphone? Sometimes you forget who you are. If everyone doesn't get your vision, it's because God didn't give your vision to everybody. The last thing you want to do is get to the final chapter and say, who could I have been? And what could I have done had I given that dream a chance? It's too late now. I can't get out the rocking chair, but man, who would I have been? The last thing you want is to be left with memories of things you didn't do. Do it. Play big. Play strong. Fly or fall. Just do it. Just do it. That is best-selling author Lisa Nichols, whose advice on abundant life has millions of people holding on to everywhere. KFM, just do it. Please welcome to the show Lisa Nichols. Reacting yeah, yeah. when you see yourself <sighs> in that mode, because that's a beast mode, because you're on stage <laughs> and you're you are giving this mm -hmm. advice. It is real, it is mm -hmm. raw, but it comes from a space mm -hmm. of familiarity because you know what it feels like to be a single mom, not knowing where the next dollar is gonna come from to take care of your family. So that's what I see yeah. when you are telling people, yeah. don't sit on the sidelines. Yeah. Because if you had sat on the sidelines, you wouldn't be here. I would not be here. I was in the back, like, looking up. I never forget the journey. Yeah. I never forget the journey. And I was in Dubai there. And um, the audience was very different, very diverse, 8,000 people. And oftentimes, I walk out on stage, and I'm still in awe yeah. <sighs> at the journey. And that, was a, that moment was a moment of saying, I I'm going to stop asking for permission. I, I'm gonna stop. I, yes. I'm not serving. I'm not serving anybody by asking, "Can I let, let my light shine?" Yeah. And so, yeah, I get emotional still because I go, some people would say we're not supposed to have this. Yeah. But but who are we listening to? Right. And that's the <laughs> thing. You know, even with you, with you and your journey, you. The last time I saw you, you were getting <laughs> married on a beach in Bahamas. Um, <laughs> And you gave your permission, yourself permission to want more love. You were 55 years old when you got married. For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. And there would have been people that said, first time married at 55, you should just give up. You were right. like, no, no. Right. I'm giving myself permission to yeah. want more love. Yeah. And this is my man. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do it at this And this age. is my time. Your time. Yeah, this is my time. So people didn't tell me to give up at 55. Yeah. They were telling me to give up at 45. Right. At 40, you're too old. And I realized, first of all, love, ha love is your birthright. Mm. Love is your birthright. It's not an option. It's not a hookup. Yeah. It's not just for some people. It's your birthright. And bigger than that, healthy love yeah. is your birthright. Yeah. And that's what we were talking about, you know, it, this whole 2024, 20, 2020 more, yeah. when I was talking with the team, I said, sometimes you feel, oh, I have enough, or I have what right. I need. And it's like, I'm okay with wanting more. Some people say, oh, you know, there are people who have worse. Absolutely, and there are people who have it better. Yeah. And I want to have what I'm supposed to yes. have. I don't yes. want to compare it to yes. the worst case or yes. the best case. Yes. And to recognize that good people should do very well. Yes. Because when good people do well, good people do more good. Exactly. Yeah. Not like exactly. They should do more good. Yes. So you have affirmations, which I love, to help people embrace the journey. It's 2024, beginning of the new year. We all know we have these bucket lists of, okay, I'm going to do this this year because right. I didn't do it last year. Right. But so much of facing the day is affirming to yourself. Yes that you deserve yes. more. Yes. You deserve these good things. You deserve yes. that dream that's in your head to become more than a dream. And there's a process to do it so that it sticks. It shouldn't be wishful thinking. Huh. It should be ownership. Yeah. Like, that's my future, and I need to paint a clear right. picture. To distinguish for people the difference, absolutely. <laughs> Distinguish the difference between wishful thinking because yes. people get trapped in the wishful yes. thinking bucket. Yes, and you got to watch out because wishful thinking releases endorphins. So you actually have a momentary natural high. 
it feels good to dream. Yeah. And then life happens. <laughs> and you be like, oh, man. Right? And then, so you got one minute of utopia and then, like, five years <laughs> of misery. That ain't helping right. working for nobody. Right. I'm the action coach. I ain't about dreaming. I'm about action, right? <laughs> so, so first of all, you have to attach your worthiness to what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of it. Because if you don't believe you're worthy of it, it's just wishful okay. thinking. So work on your worthiness. Okay. I'm worthy of it. I've done enough. I've climbed enough. I've cried enough. I've prayed enough. I am enough. I woke yeah. up enough. Yeah. That's number one. Number two. Number two is to create clear goals, not ambiguous goals. I'm gonna be rich someday. I'm gonna have love someday. <laughs> if you can't circle the day on the calendar, the day doesn't exist. Ah. Hey. Then, daily action steps. Y'all say daily action steps. Daily action steps. You can't just stay on social media watching her life or my life and get your life. Get your life. I love it. You That's can't true. do it. All right, so you have this special affirmation and you're going to lead us in this I affirmation. Am. Okay. I am. So, I want you to own the words. Okay, so we're not just reciting. I know that you guys can see them, but I want you to own the words. So take a deep breath. I am here by design. I am here by design. I now own my light. I now own my light. I own my brilliance. I own my brilliance. I woke up enough. I woke up enough. I'm courageous. I'm courageous. I'm perfect in my imperfection. I'm perfect in my imperfection. I'm elevating every aspect of my life. I'm elevating every aspect of my life. 2023 gave me evidence of how strong I am. 2023 gave me evidence of how strong I am. My 2024 is filled with more. My 2024 is filled with more. More self-love. More self-love. More celebration. More celebration. And more abundance. And more abundance. 2024, get ready. 2024, get ready. Because I'm coming for the next best version of myself. Because I'm coming for the next best version of myself. Yes! Well, you have my heart racing. You got to come back and keep us on track. I would love to. I would love okay, to. Okay, we're going to see Lisa all every month. I, I, I <laughs> now plan to every it's month on this it's show. A it's a date. It's a date. Give it up it's for Lisa date. Nichols. Thank you so much. And if you like to hear more of Lisa's words of wisdom to help you stay focused on your goals, please check out Lisa's goal setting planner. It's on our